Hi, in this video, I will share to you the project iSCAD. It's all about um, class scheduling software using Java and using MySQL database. And this is the ERD. I will show you the ERD. This is the design of my ERD. This is the class schedule. And then um, this is the database. This is the query. So let's uh, open the workbench. Then click this instance. Then back to iSCAD. Um, I will show it to you the link in the description. So let's open this database. Then copy raw file. Then proceed. Then add is SQL then paste this is the query then control A to highlight all the queries then uh, execute the query then refresh all then we have here 11 uh, tables in this project so let's download the project Download then we are done in downloading the project. Then let's extract this zip file. Then next week I will share to you the um this one capsis or billing or um hotel management. then let's open the project here in downloads open then this is the uh, project name then open the package here this com aldrin i sketch down then implement then click this db connection then let's put your put your my sql password and my sql password is aldrin then s then if you if you're not downloading the dependency click this build with dependencies to make sure uh, to download all the dependencies in your form in your local Depend uh, repositories. So let's try to run the project. Run. Let's wait. Then let's put uh, admin. This is the default. Then admin. Uh, all uppercase then click uh, login this is the sample data that we execute from um, this one so this is the data then this is the settings this is how uh, in we new or add schedule let's click this one schedule then select the instructor the section this one then you can view the subject this one it has three um, subject then it has three class then this one has this section has okay three class this is this is the instructor then this is the room time then if we select this one we have in this instructor it has two uh, class schedule so let's click this one okay so this one is conflict with this subject conflict with this schedule 
Silco Grace V. This is the section. This is the day. Uh, MTH, which is Monday and Thursday. Then this is 7:30. Then the same, the same room, the same day, the same time with the same room. So let's close. So let's find the. Okay, it says already. Okay, it has no conflict if this icon is green is checked. Means there's there's no conflict. Example, this one is this conflict. Okay, there's no conflict with this one. So that means uh, we can save this one. So I'll drain here. Okay, let's save. Yes. Then it has three subject. This is um this subject is um we add this one. Then let's see the report. So this is the report of the schedule of the instructors or professor. This is the title. If you want to change the header or label of the header or the logo, you can proceed here in manage school. This one. If you want to change the header, if you want to change the composite, this one in the last page. This one, if you want to change this one, then you can change here in compose head. This one, update. Okay. Then now we can um, create a school year. So click this one, school year, then Let's add a school year for this one. This is uh, 20, uh, 2024. Let's put here 2024 to, if it is the same, that is not allowed. And that's 2025. And this is the second semester, then save. And um, close. So in the second semester, we don't have yet a schedule here. Okay. So if we want to add a schedule in um, second semester 2024 to 2025, second semester, we can click this one. Then, for example, this one. Okay. Room three, then save. So this is the schedule of the second uh, semester. Then let's view the report. So this is this this is the report of the second semester. This one, second semester. Okay. Then if we want to change or update the instructor, we can change this one. Okay, room. Okay, day. Then, if you want to um, see the time, this is the data type of time. I need to put here uh, end time, and the data type is time. to um to trace this is the time manipulating to get the exact um schedule where we can find the conflict of time this one if you want to update this one to update the schedule of this um this one um okay this one Room to update. 
this is room 2 let's change this to room 5 say yes so it's changed to room 5 so there's a lot of um about of this project but um you can explore it because uh, i don't have enough time to to give you a tutorial of a detail of this one so i hope um you subscribe my channel and you like this uh, video because in next uh, week maybe i will give you um different project like this one capsis or billing hotel management or rental so or then next maybe june i will give you the project uh, java fx so see you next uh, video guys thank you for watching see you next um video bye